We will start in the hardware configuration and select config for Ethernet. From here we will assign a 32-bit register for the IP address and choose the direction of read-write. This will allow the user to change the IP address by changing the value of R101. Next, assign a status and version register, which are explained in the Ethernet supplement. What we have just done will allow Seascape to connect to a controller once the correct IP address has been entered to R101 and the program has been downloaded to the controller. Now there are Ethernet protocols that can be entered in the bottom half of the screen. The first one we have is ICMP ping, which allows the controller to ping other devices. It is already enabled to allow other devices to ping the PLC. We also have Modbus TCP Slave, which is another popular protocol. Now Ethernet IP does not enable Ethernet on the controller, is a protocol that is needed to talk to specific devices. FTP will allow for files stored on a microSD card to be transferred to a PC. HTTP allows for a website to display and control registers in the PLC. Again, more information is available in the Ethernet supplement.